Former Assistant U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Robbins, thank you so much for your time tonight. If you were investigating this incident, what would be your number one question to President Biden and his team? Well, I think you can expect that there are going to be subpoenas aplenty uh, issued by the Republican Oversight Committees recently formed, uh, aimed at um, the former vice president's office, uh, the those who are running this Penn Biden Center, uh, and ultimately a request from the president himself to answer questions before the committee, akin to the request that was made by the January 6th committee uh, to uh, former President Trump. Is there a scenario that President Biden faces any legal liability for this? No, I don't think there's any uh, realistic uh, likelihood of any kind of criminal charge against him at all. It's pretty clear that what occurred was inadvertent and uh, was uh, promptly disclosed once it was discovered. So there's a strong case to be made that the situation is between former President Trump and President uh, Biden are apples and oranges. But nevertheless, up until uh, 36 hours ago, there were only apples and no oranges. Um, it's a uh, blow to the special counsel, those who want to see uh, the former president prosecuted over these documents, and it's a boon to the former president. So it's a complication for the special counsel. There's no question about it. And you use the analogy that it's apples and oranges. Some people are just going to say they're both fruit, and they're not going to really make the distinction. But I, I would like you to specifically say how you feel this situation is different from the classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. And by the way, you're quite right. The um, this is both. This is all fruit. This is both fruit is going to be the line that is parroted and it's going to be accepted by wide numbers of people. But the differences include the following: um, one uh, w uh, was a inadvertent, apparently, uh, taking of documents uh, and not knowing that they were there. The other was pretty willful, stretched over the course of a year of uh, responding to requests for the return of documents uh, with uh, essentially the middle finger and attended by uh, lying and deception and, and the hiding of documents. Those are very different. One situation involved uh, cooperation. Uh, the other involved obstruction. Uh, one clearly involved, uh, in the case of former President Trump, the former president knowing about the situation and making a decision to do what he did with respect to the documents. And the other with respect to uh, current president Biden, so far as we know at least, uh, involved no knowledge on his part at all. You mentioned the word unintentional. You know, some people are going to see, as we were just showing on, on camera, a video of the documents that were in Mar-a-Lago, many of them which had the big red letters that said top secret, right? Or they might say classified or, or confidential, whatever it is. Some people are going to say, how do you take those kinds of papers by mistake? How is this inadvertent or, or unintentional? In the case of the documents at Mar-a-Lago, of course, there were over 300 class sets of classified documents. So that becomes harder to explain than the apparently 10 classified documents. But that isn't to say that both don't involve classified documents, because they do. And to your point, there are going to be those who are going to say, A, how did you take even 10 classified documents out? B, what were they doing apparently among personal papers of the uh, former vice president, the current president? And finally, how is it that they stayed there undetected for six years? And those are, let's face it, legitimate questions. And, and just to put a sharper point on uh, an initial point that you made, uh, President Biden is cooperating with investigators, uh, whereas former President Trump is under investigation for obstruction of justice. How could that ultimately play a factor in, in how these cases are handled? I think that's a huge factor. In the case of the former president, there was uh, active obstruction upon active obstruction upon active obstruction, starting with the uh, the sort of the fiddling around or the dishonesty with uh, respect to requests for their return, the apparent lying about the existence of documents, the evidence apparently that there was a there were hiding of documents. Uh, it is it is a uh, a textbook it's seemingly in obstruction of justice. By contrast, uh, President Biden, by all accounts, uh, he did not discover them, but his lawyers discovered them, and they immediately, and I mean immediately, notified the authorities. So the difference there is very, very significant, and it's the kind of significant difference that could indeed play a big role in the determination to proceed with a prosecution of former President uh, Trump 
Jeffrey Robbins, always appreciate your time and insight. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lindsay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.